The first time I approached the Beethoven Violin Concerto, I was very young, um, as I believe the pieces that you learn when you're very young are the ones that stay in your fingers and in your mind forever. So it was very important to me to have this uh, basis of repertoire um, I would play later on. So yes, I, I just began when I was about 12 years old, just playing the Beethoven Violin Concerto for fun. But um, it wasn't until later when um, I really started working on it very seriously. When I lived in Germany, I used to, to play uh, for Maestro Marek Janowski and he would always give me very good advice. So there was one time when I played for him and he told me, Maria, wenn du 18 bist, dann möchte ich mit dir das Beethoven Konzert spielen. Wir werden das hier in Dresden machen und das möchte ich unbedingt mit dir machen. So he told me, when you're 18, I want to, to play Beethoven with you. So I was so young at the age and, and, and Beethoven um, kind of became a goal, a goal I worked towards to I think that Beethoven definitely gives room for interpretation in his violin concerto. Um, I have worked with the manuscript and, and you can see that Beethoven uh, wasn't very fixed about his ideas. There are a lot of themes which are crossed out and he kept evolving and, and developing new ideas. So that's how I think the concertos should also be approached. I think every time you perform it, um, you can find new nuances, new dynamics. So that's the way of, of keeping music alive. The challenge of Beethoven's Violin Concerto, uh, in my opinion, is the fact that you can't rely on virtuosity in this piece. It is very interesting because Beethoven wrote the Violin Concerto for his friend, Franz Clement. I read that Clement loved playing very soft and that is very present in Beethoven's Violin Concerto. So I think Beethoven um, kind of wrote the concerto with Clement's playing in his mind. I think the most important part is to give each note a meaning and that can be done just through the sound. So for me, the most important part in, in this concerto is showing my own personality through my sound. Writing my own cadences to the concerto um, helped me gain very deep insight into the structure of the piece. And my goal was, of course, to um, preserve Beethoven's essence. And also through performing the other cadences from different composers, I could see that the understanding of the violin concerto evolves throughout the years. To the question uh, what makes me and my music special, um, that's very hard for me to answer. I would say that's something the audience should tell when they listen to me. But my goal when, when I'm on stage, when I perform, is definitely to, to play uh, myself, to show myself and the way I understand music to the audience. And yes, just um, very honestly express my feelings.
voy demasiado rápido y quieres que vaya más lento. Recording this work together with the Manfred Honeck and the Vienna Symphony um, was very special to me because, of course, Vienna was home to Beethoven for so many years and it is now also my home as I moved there to, to complete my education. Of course, I'm very, very inspired by the Austrian culture, also through my professor Boris Kushner. I used to watch with my family um, every year the New Year's concert. So the music friend was always um, kind of a dream to me and I could never imagine that I could be there performing one day and also recording my first album. And I think this combination of Maestro Honeck and this wonderful orchestra is, I thought, really a perfect combination for my first album, kind of giving thanks to Vienna, which has given me so much. Thank you.